the story. These jets will be flying what's known as the missing man formation. 75 years after an American B-17 bomber named Mi Amigo crashed in this English park, the 10 U.S. airmen who died here were honored with a flyover by American and British military aircraft. Down below, thousands cheered the planes and 82-year-old Tony Folds. Thank you. I can't, I can't believe all this. This is unbelievable to me. An eight-year-old Tony was in the park playing with other children the day the Mi Amigo went down, killing all on board. It's Tony's story emerging last month after a chance meeting with a British journalist that sparked the campaign for today's fly past. The damaged American bomber, badly shot up by the German Luftwaffe, was apparently attempting an emergency landing when the crew spotted the children. If I hadn't been on the park, they could have landed on the park. The B-17 veered away and crashed into nearby trees. Tony is convinced that the pilot and all on board died to save the lives of the children playing in the park. And he told CBS News last month that he feels responsible, visiting the scene of the crash nearly every day since 1953. And there's nothing I love better than for the American people to realise it wasn't just a bomber that crashed, it saved six English cats. On Friday, Tony's wish came true, and sharing the stage with him were family members of some of the U.S. airmen who died on board the Mi Amigo. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was more than I ever could have, could have hoped for. An extraordinary act of selflessness, and a man who's never forgotten it. Finally, given the recognition they both deserve. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Holly Williams, London. I'm sure not a dry eye in that crowd of thousands. What a lovely ceremony and what an incredible turnout all these years later. Yeah, that story and one of, and one of the stories written about it, he said that he actually believes that he saw the pilot waving yeah. to try to move those kids. Yeah. Up next.